So for today's job I'm going to be using the Hater 41 Pro. Um, if you want to find out how I acquired this mower, check back on my very last video. I'll clip it up here for you. But um, there is a bit of a story how I ended up getting this mower and how I'm using it today. So if you want to find out, I won't go into it again, but just check one of the old videos at the very end. I'll go into um, the story about getting this mower. But for now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the 41 Pro. So this is the Hater Harrier 41 Pro. I've been using it now for a couple of weeks. and been very, very impressed with it, guys. And try and go through a few of the things for you here. It's got one of these nice little cleaning things where you clean, just click the hose pipe on, cleans all the underneath for you. Found it very useful. As you can see here, all these different settings of the height, very, very simple, up and down, no trouble. This mower does come with a roller, and what I love about this roller is it is split in two. So when you're turning the mower around at any certain points, it sort of swivels rather than churning up the turf. This mower is purely for bagging only, there's no mulching involved and it bags very very well. I like the fact that it just clips on, no hassle at all. It has this handy bar that runs along the back of it which has made it very handy for me to lift in and out of the van. Here's a quick view of the underneath. I am going to link in the description below a few bits and pieces about the mower. Um, there will be a link to the Hater site if you want to find out a bit more about these type of mowers. Just give them a click and um, they will be able to tell you much more about them. I'm very bad on specifics of things. But the one biggest thing I can tell you about this mower which I really love is this split roller at the back. It allows me, when I'm cutting a small lawn such as this, to turn around a lot. I mean there's a lot of turning around on this on this little lawn, going up to the edges, spinning round. Uh, sometimes with the other mowers I've used in the past, the roller on them is very heavy, so when you come to the end of a lawn and you turn round, because a lot of the times you're hitting the same spot every time, uh, that spot that you're hitting can become quite worn out. And I've found with this mower it doesn't happen because it's got the split roller, it swivels on its spot, um, it doesn't leave a mark, doesn't destroy any of the lawn and that for me is a massive plus. I love the way the stripes look at the end they are very um, very soft but they are also very defined you can uh, you can see them no trouble. One of the things I'm obviously not going to be able to tell you about this mower is the longevity of it. The last few mowers I've brought have now lasted me five years and three years, and they're both still going. Uh, with this mower, obviously I won't be able to tell, but uh, maybe in the future I'll be able to uh, let you know. This mower bags grass very, very well. I've never had to drag any of the grass out of the chute or anything like that. It's always been thrown right to the back of the bag. Fills it up very, very nicely. The one thing I can't really go into is how it bags in the wet or the damp conditions. We haven't had any rain over in my area of the UK for probably about four weeks now. So haven't really tried it on any damp grass at all. All the grass I have been mowing has been dry as a bone. So. It'll be interesting to see in um, in the future how it bags when damp. Most of the lawns I've been picking to uh, use this hater on 
have been very similar to this type of garden, fairly small. Um, a few of the gardens I've actually picked up are new gardens and um, some of those got a, a bit of a jump up to them, they're like a walled garden. So this mower's come in quite handy, it's quite easy to lift up and down these type of gardens. But with a garden this size, I've always struggled in the past to um, save the grass when you're, there's a lot of turning round. So I come to the end of this lawn, spinning the mower around, go to the other end, spinning it around again. So there's there's nowhere for me to turn around off of the lawn. So it's very hard for me to save uh, making like a big wheel mark in it, keep turning it around with the, with the original rollers. So with this roller, it's absolutely perfect for it. You know, when it spins on a dime like that, uh, it's not causing any damage to the lawn. And that for me, has been a massive plus. In fact, on this lawn, I um, when I finished, the gentleman I worked for actually came out and complimented me on how nice the grass looked. He's never done that before ever. Um, whether or not he was just in a good mood, I don't know. But he did come out and compliment me on the uh, how the lawn looked once I'd finished. So it isn't only small lawns I've been doing with this mower. I have actually tried it out on a few bigger lawns. I wouldn't want to do it too often, being as a 16 inch mower, you know, I do have other bigger mowers at home, but I just wanted to try it out. And because it bags so well, I found I can do a lawn like this with no problem at all. In truth, this mower is very similar to all the other mowers I've been using for the last five years, say. Um, the one thing this mower doesn't have, which I really do miss from my other mowers, is the blade brake. Now, the blade brake is a cable which allows you to turn off the blades but keep the engine running on the mower. With this hater, every time you're uh, emptying the bag, you are turning the mower off. So I seem to be turning, you know, starting this mower up and off every now and again. You know, it, it's just something I'm not used to with the other mowers I have. And I do miss that about this mower. Uh, wouldn't be honest if I didn't mention that now. So if this mower did have the blade brake on, um, it probably would tick all the boxes for me. And I say there wouldn't be a lot of difference from all the other mowers I've used in the past. Um, it's very, very quick. It cuts grass very, very well. It bags it very well. It's um, all round, a very good mower for people like me who cut a lot of grass or even the homeowner. Another good thing I found with this mower is that can get very close to the edges of everything which obviously eliminates a lot of strimming. Uh, strimming for me, being somebody that mows a lot of grass, I'm always going to strim anyway but I do know that a lot of my homeowners I work for, uh, if they cut their own lawns, they absolutely hate strimming. In fact it's one of the things they may cut their own grass but I do the strimming for them. Uh, this mower won't eliminate that but it does minimise it. You can get ever so close to the uh, sides of walls and fences um, and as I say eliminates a lot of strimming. Anyway guys if you want to find out more about this mower as I say check the description below. Thanks ever so much for watching, take care, be good and I'll see you soon.